vacant parking lots, faded out signs, and a whole lot of empty space. Empty buildings just aren't good as a, a for, for business at all. For sale, for lease, or just forgotten, you can find them all over the east. Having empty buildings uh, indicates that there's lack of activity and business opportunities here in the city. And city leaders admit it's an issue they're trying to address. One of our first focuses have been in infill of these shopping center areas. We have a very active community that's addressing these concerns and we've taken down a number of blighted and abandoned commercial buildings. What was once a hotel, a local business, a restaurant, or simply even a warehouse, they're now just the brick and mortar. So how much space are we really talking about here? I found several counties that have more than 2 million square feet of unused space. Now to put things into perspective, we're talking more than 35 football fields worth of property that's just not being used. That's a lot of space. And they're more than just an eyesore. Too many empty buildings can make new or growing businesses think twice before they enter the area. The impression of your community is often uh, exemplified by, as you said, the occupancy level along your retail row. It does appear that we're not growing or active or um, pursuing economic development, which in fact is, is completely erroneous. So now the question is why? Typically due to lack of industry and folks that have suffered with the economy. Some of the uh, properties are being managed out of state, large uh, conglomerate management companies. So uh, they, they stay pat. They're not in any rush to actually fill some of those properties. They have a certain type of product which they're hoping to fill in. You know, they don't operate in months. They operate in years in terms of the type of product they want inside their buildings. Some property owners just can't find buyers, while others may just be too selective. For example, Circuit City, we've had a number of uh, businesses have been interested in locating in that location, but they're very specific in what they would like to locate in that property. And our Office of Economic Development, which we formed this year, have been working very aggressively to fill these spaces. So there may not be a simple cause, but these city leaders agree the solution may not be as complicated. What you have to do is you have to keep focused on being user friendly. Making it user friendly. A lot of communities have a challenge and a long and lengthy process of going through the development request and applications. But here's the catch. Not all counties keep up with what spaces are available. And if they do, you can usually only find the ones commercial realtors are listing. But they're definitely out there. We've strengthened all of our infrastructure and utilities. We've strengthened our um, our, our business model downtown. We've got a new director of development and we are actively saying, look, New Bern's open for business. All of our communities have something to sell. Some are tourist communities, others have military and other components. I think the main thing is we can't sit back and wait for opportunities to come to your community. Now in Eastern North Carolina, we have to be much more proactive and work together to be able to bring opportunities here to our cities. They say it's gonna take a joint effort from both property owners and the city to start filling these spots up, but they're hoping a recovering economy and a growing demand for job creation will help bring about some change. The more people we get developing out here, the more big businesses we get developing out here, the better for the region and the better for everybody in all of Eastern North Carolina.